A huge weather pattern change will be coming to the United States over the next few days, which is going to bring the return of significant severe weather to areas like the Northern Plains and the Midwest. Additionally, a heat wave is about to come back to the United States throughout the rest of this week, which could bring temperatures as high as 120 degrees. And lastly, the tropics are going to be heating up very quickly over the next few weeks, and the potential for a hurricane or two do exist, and those could end up impacting the United States. So in today's forecast we're going to break down exactly what you need to know about the weather that'll be impacting the united states over the next seven days and we'll begin with what's happening across the country today and generally speaking it's pretty quiet for most of the lower 48 this morning however that is not going to last as we are anticipating a big uptick in severe weather over the next few days across the central and northern plains and the midwest and on top of that we are expecting even a possibility for a tropical depression or storm to form over the next few days along the east coast it's not a really high chance that that something forms but if something does form we could be talking about at least some problems anywhere from georgia all the way back up into new england so that'll be something to keep an eye on and we're going to talk more about that here in just a moment and then back over in the southern plains and also the southeast not really a whole lot of activity this morning very quiet very sunny it's gonna be a warm and hot day and we are anticipating a heat wave to really kick into gear here over the next few days which is going to make things a lot warmer now let's talk more about the severe weather potential for the next few days and we'll begin with today which is thursday and we have an enhanced risk of severe weather in place back over in North Dakota, which does include areas like Bismarck. We also have a slight risk from Fargo, North Dakota, back in central Montana, also even in Aberdeen in South Dakota, and then marginal threat goes into the Midwest, back into Idaho. All hazards of severe weather are going to be on the table today, including the potential for significant damaging winds. There is even a low chance a derecho could happen this afternoon and evening, so make sure that you're staying very weather aware. Protect any loose line items that might be outside that could go flying, trampoline hatch those down we could be talking about damaging winds today as high as 60 to 90 miles per hour in a pretty widespread area so definitely a dangerous day ahead in North Dakota very large hail is also a big concern especially out of the initial supercells that fire off this afternoon and early evening and there is also a potential for a few tornadoes the storm prediction center has a five percent tornado risk currently in place which does include Bismarck now overall I do think a few tornadoes are going to be a possibility later this afternoon it will come down to storm mode but we will have a decent amount of wind shear in this environment also some favorable boundary interactions could lead to a tornado threat that's more elevated would not rule out a large and or strong tornado today as well and there is a very good chance that we'll be live covering this later today so make sure you're subscribed to the channel and click the bell icon so you're notified if and when we do go live now as we go into friday the threat of severe weather does continue to move further to the east we could have a very significant day of severe weather on our hands on friday right now the forecast is honestly a little conservative we do have an enhanced risk of severe weather but it's pretty small Small in northwestern Minnesota and also eastern North Dakota, just outside of Aberdeen, South Dakota, as well. Slight risk goes into northeastern Nebraska. Marginal threat also going down towards Kansas and western Wisconsin, where damaging winds is a concern. But the biggest concern for Friday will be very large hail, which could be up to the size of apples with a couple of our supercells that fire off. There is currently a 2% tornado risk in place, but I do think that this could be increased in a future outlook. So definitely something to keep in mind here. Definitely looks like it could be a big day, but it is going to be conditional on some stuff so definitely make sure that you're staying weather aware and there's also a high probability that will be live on friday assuming the threat of severe weather is around where it's at right now if not even increased in a future outlook and then as we go into saturday the threat of severe weather will continue across the midwest and the central plains there is a slight risk of severe weather in place for wisconsin iowa and also minnesota and then marginal threat goes into the texas panhandle where the biggest concern will be damaging winds and large hail i do think there's a chance for a couple of tornadoes as well and assuming that we do at least have some sort of tornado threat there's also a chance of a live stream on saturday so make sure you are subscribed to the channel and click the bell icon so you're notified with the latest updates now let's talk more about the timing of severe weather beginning with what's happening today across the northern plains by around four o'clock we'll have a few storms firing up across northeast montana and northwestern north dakota but the main event will probably not start until about five to six o'clock we're going to start to see a bunch of storms fire off across western north dakota there will likely be a cluster and then a discrete supercell or two will likely fire back over just to the west of Bismarck and this is where we're anticipating the threat of very large hail some damaging winds and the potential for a few tornadoes and a strong tornado would be in play by eight to nine o'clock storms will likely become a lot more clustered so I think this tornado threat will not be super long lived at least when it comes to our potential for strong tornadoes but I do think by nine to ten o'clock when this is all clustered together we are going to continue to see tornadoes embedded in a line of thunderstorms and that'll continue to track across North Dakota and then by around midnight 
tonight. These storms are going to be approaching areas like Fargo and Grand Forks back over in far eastern North Dakota. And this could again lead to a potential for a derecho. It is kind of 50-50 today whether we'll actually have a derecho or not. At the bare minimum, we'll likely have a severe mesoscale convective system, which means a pretty intense line of thunderstorms. As we go into early Friday morning, this will fall apart as it moves towards Duluth in northeastern Minnesota. And then eventually as we go into Friday afternoon, we are right back at it with more severe weather in the northern plains. So as we go later into Friday, we are anticipating more significant severe weather to be a possibility. Back over in Nebraska and also South Dakota, there will likely be a few supercells that will kind of cluster together with damaging winds, a little bit of large hail, and the potential for an isolated tornado. But this really right here is the main environment. Right around 7 o'clock or so, I do think a couple of supercells will fire off in eastern North Dakota. And assuming these storms stay discreet, we could be talking about a pretty significant tornado threat as well. It is conditional, though, on storm mode and obviously storms firing. We may also have another significant line of storms formatted this event as well late Friday night across both the Dakotas and then eventually moving to Minnesota as we go into the late evening and overnight hours. So again, a very active stretch of weather is ahead over the next 24 to 48 hours. And then Saturday is a little bit more confusing for severe weather. It's going to come down to really what happens on Friday for our storms. And depending on how far east they track, we'll really basically depict what is going to actually happen on Saturday. But I do think we're at least going to see some isolated damaging winds and large hail throughout the afternoon hours across both Wisconsin, Iowa, Minnesota, perhaps even Illinois. Wouldn't even be surprised if we had a heightened tornado threat back over in southwest Wisconsin for a few hours on Saturday. But again, it's going to come down to what happens on Friday. There will be enough wind shear for tornadoes, but again, everything's going to ride on Friday. We'll have more details about this in our next forecast, which will probably be tomorrow. And unfortunately, we are about to have a much more extreme heat wave across the United States over the next few days, as well above average temperatures are going to usher in to the Great Plains and the Midwest. We are likely going to see at least some record-breaking high temperatures on both Friday and Saturday before eventually some slightly colder weather will enter back into the Midwest and the Northern Plains as we go into the weekend. Next week doesn't look much different. We're going to have another big heat wave, most likely around Thursday or Friday of next week, which is going to continue to make things look and also feel very hot out there, and it will also be very humid for a lot of us. This is the high temperatures that we are forecasting right now for Friday. Many areas in the Central Plains, including Omaha in Nebraska, are likely going to be hitting the 110s. Could even have some areas in the 120s back over in the southwest. That's something that we have seen over the last few days. High temperatures will drop back into the 90s and low 100s by the middle of next week, so right around Tuesday, and then that heat is going to make another return as we go into next weekend, even as far north as Aberdeen in South Dakota, and maybe even back up towards Fargo in North Dakota. And as we mentioned earlier in the forecast, the tropics are heating up very quickly, and it is very common for this to happen in the month of August, but we have two areas of development, and also Tropical Storm Dexter, which is about to become an extra tropical cyclone. It will be a very powerful one as well as it continues to move out to sea. But this is an area of development that will likely become a tropical storm over the next few days as it heads towards Bermuda. Very low chance that this impacts the United States. And then this system right here has a low chance of developing just off the coast of the Carolinas. I also think this has a very low chance of actually becoming anything significant for the United States. However, after August 15th, I do have confidence that something is going to try to form in this region back over in the Lesser Antilles. And if something does form, we could definitely have a threat on our hands in the Gulf or perhaps even back over near Florida. So this is definitely something that we need to keep a very close eye on. And if this does happen, we could have some big problems on our hands in the United States with how warm the water temperatures are across the Caribbean and the Gulf. And taking a deeper dive into our tropics, these are the ensemble members, which basically gives us a bunch of scenarios that could happen over the next week or two. This is kind of our starting point right now. We do have a low pressure that is trying to develop back over in the central Atlantic Ocean. This is a tropical wave, which I do think will develop into something. I do think we're going to see a tropical depression form. Notice how most of the ensemble members do have this going in the direction of Bermuda, not really anything going towards the United States. However, if you see over here, back over in the Western Atlantic Ocean, there are multiple ensemble members right around August 10th to August 15th that do show the potential for something developing here. Now, there's only about six ensemble members that actually do something, and there's at least a couple of dozen ensemble members in this group. So there's at least around a 10 to 20 percent chance as we go into next week that something could try to form back over in the Lesser Antilles. Now, if that does end up happening, we could definitely have some problems in our hands in the Gulf. I notice how there's four different members here that bring a potential tropical storm or even hurricane towards the Gulf. Now, I do think the probabilities of that happening are low, but I do think this is at least a sign that we are going to start to see tropical storms, if not hurricanes, getting closer to land, especially back over in the Lesser and Greater Antilles and perhaps even in the United States over the next few weeks. And as always, thank you all so much for watching today's forecast. If you are new to the 
channel, make sure to subscribe down below. We will likely be live at least today, if not tomorrow, for severe weather coverage, so click the bell icon so you're notified if and when we do go live. Otherwise, we'll likely have another video tomorrow. We'll likely have another video on Friday as well. The weather is looking pretty active, at least for right now, and the tropics are again heating up. I definitely think there will be at least some sort of hurricane within the next two to three weeks in the Atlantic Ocean. We've yet to have one so far this year. I think we're very close to seeing our first one. So stay tuned. We'll see you guys all again in the next video or live stream.